Welcome to our overview of the Fulfillment by Amazon or FBA dashboard. The FBA dashboard helps you manage and grow your FBA business, all from a single page. In this video, we'll share the main benefits of using the FBA dashboard and how to access the page and its features. To locate the FBA dashboard, open the Seller Central main menu, hover over Inventory, and click Dashboard. You'll arrive at the FBA dashboard page, where you can find everything related to FBA, including information about your shipments and sales, as well as your inventory and its performance. You can use this dashboard to review FBA metrics and leverage our recommendations to help grow your business. At the top of the page, you can find the FBA Navigation menu. The Inventory menu has links related to FBA inventory. The next menu, Shipments, has links such as Manage Shipments to help you understand and manage delivery of your inventory. On the Opportunities page, we analyze your catalog and recommend which ASINs to enroll in FBA and FBA Small and Light. FBA Small and Light helps reduce the cost of fulfilling orders for small and lightweight inventory priced under $10. Our recommendations are also summarized on the Opportunities card in the FBA dashboard. The last menu option, Analytics, helps you visualize your sales data. You can use different filters, such as date range and SKU, to analyze sales performance. The first section of the FBA dashboard contains your key performance indicators. These three cards, Sales Ordered, Units Ordered, and Orders, summarize your sales and show a year-over-year -year comparison. You can also filter the date for these metrics. Click the arrow above the Sales Ordered card for the drop-down menu to appear. Then, choose the date range or set a customized range by selecting Custom. In the Plan Inventory card below, you'll find the Inventory Performance Index, or IPI, score. This score is based on how well you drive sales and manage on-hand inventory. It's important to keep an eye on your IPI score, as falling below the threshold may limit your storage volume. If you click View Details, you'll be directed to the IPI page. Also in the Plan Inventory card, top influencing factors are shown on the right and include excess inventory, in-stock rate, sell-through, and stranded inventory. These metrics highlight actions you can take to improve your IPI score. Hover over each link to learn more. The Shipments card provides data about your shipment statuses over the past 120 days. It breaks down the total number of your shipments into four categories – Working Shipments, In-Transit Shipments, At Fulfillment Center, and Closed Shipments. If you want to view more details, click View All Shipments and you'll be directed to the Shipping Queue page. Shipment problems, such as shipments missing their tracking IDs, are also flagged here. The Inventory Age card helps prevent you from incurring long-term storage fees, also known as Aged Inventory Surcharges. It shows you how many units of your inventory are within a certain age range. These ranges are from 0 to 180 days, 181 to 270 days, 271 to 365 days, and more than 365 days. This helps you clearly see how many units are in danger of going over the threshold of incurring long-term storage fees. Finally, the Optimize Inventory card shows you SKUs that we recommend you either restock due to low supply or manage due to excess inventory. You'll also see what products qualify for recommended actions such as creating an outlet deal, creating a removal order, advertising a listing, and restocking inventory. Click the links to navigate to a filtered view of the FBA Inventory page, where you'll find the specific inventory units to optimize. This concludes our overview of the FBA dashboard. Thank you and happy selling in the Amazon store.